Greetings, Michelle. Here's a poem for your birthday. It's a memory, at least at the start, of recording the Laureate CD, which we did in your house in Devonport. And it begins with a phrase from one of your poems, and the title is also nicked from another of your poems. It's called Works and Days for Michelle. I don't need eyes for that, you said, a phrase still on repeat in our household, sung into the microphone of days. For Rosemary's sharp pharmacy, for the silk of a dog's coat and damp nose in the palm, for balancing the weight of a phrase on the beam of a line. This rhythmic gymnastics returning to a walking pace that retains the energy you've always brought to the kitchen table unchanged. Not the light, but its source. The land in the mind glows brighter than the land under the gun of circumstance. Absolute green of chestnut tree, smeared blue of the gulf, the gull's astonished punctuation always there to remind you that it's just as well. We can't know what others will take from the tables we set. Or there'd be no surprising fireworks flowering from the juicy fuses you've laid to detonate at all tomorrow's parties, here preserved mirabile dictu, and fizzing like citrus sherbet on the tongue. Why does the early life rise up to meet the late one? Like the dog turning circles to make her temporary nest of sleep, The arms of our ancestors wrap round, and the poem comes home like the kids to lit windows and the meal you are waiting to put on the table, this living circle made in a moment by your capable gesture. All our faces are there. Happy birthday, Michelle, and the best of all possible health to you.